Hello everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make these custom typography word marks. They're all hand drawn and it's kind of what got my Instagram design page really popular. There's endless ways to do them in your own style. Since they're all hand drawn, you can put them in any shape you want. Super exciting. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do just that. So first of all, I begin my drawing. It might take a while to get used to, but uh, practice makes perfect. If you just keep drawing letters every day, trust me, you will get the right shapes that you want. When you're drawing is the most creative part because you can draw it in all, like any shape you want, any curve. If you want to draw it 3D, you can even draw like little illustrations. Like sometimes I've drawn uh, flowers on my text, stuff like that, you know? So do whatever you want when you're drawing. And when I'm done with my drawing, I uh, put it in the scanner scan it with my printer and send it to my computer then I open up illustrator so in illustrator let's make a new file it could be any dimension just make sure that you have RGB colors on because otherwise you'll have to use CMYK then we're just gonna click and drag the image from my desktop onto illustrator press shift and rotate it and shift and alt to scale it up using the move to just position it where you want uh, next, we're going to go to the layers panel, double click this layer and click template, press OK, and then add a new layer. Then select the curve tool. This is what we're going to be using for drawing the lines for the vector. It's super easy to use, way easier than the pen tool. All you need to do is start clicking along the path of your drawing and the curve will form automatically. It's just going to follow the shape of what you're doing. With the pen tool, it's a bit harder. You kind of have to draw the shape and curve yourself, but we will need to use it. I'll show you why in a second. For this M that I'm doing right now, I don't need to use it because it's just all really smooth. Now let's show you when you're going to need to use the pen tool. So for really sharp curves, like really sharp turns like this, we can switch over to the pen tool, click on the anchor point, click and drag to make it curve and continue doing that. If you want to reset, you can click the anchor point again, click and drag, make the curve. So this takes a bit of getting used to. But that's why I use the curve tool for the most part, because you can just switch between pen tool, curve tool. Just use the pen tool for the really sharp corners that you gotta cut. Now I'm just gonna speed through outlining the rest of these. And the more you do this, the more skilled you become with the curve tool and pen tool. Now what we're gonna do is hide the underneath layer by clicking on that little rectangle. Now we're just left with the outlines. So we're gonna select all of them and fill them with the color white. Now open this layers panel and shift click on all of these shapes, click on this little rectangle and click reverse order. This just changes the way the text overlaps. Now few of the letters still aren't perfect so we can fix them manually. I'm gonna drag the K down with the H, I wanna bring that up and the S, I wanna bring that the very bottom. Now I wanna bring the whole word this up top so I'm gonna select it, shift and click and drag them to the top. Uh, now we're just going to use the move tool to shift the text around and make it more structured because the sketch is not always very perfect because it's it has human error stuff, you know? Now I'm just going to press Ctrl R to bring up some guidelines. Just left click and drag from the top of the screen and it'll pull up these guidelines. We're going to use these to structure our text. So you can select the whole text, you can rotate it, and you can drag it up and down. You can also change the curves. If you select the text and then press the curve tool, it'll let you move the curves individually. Okay, so you can see this still isn't looking very perfect. It's looking a bit rough because we haven't smoothed it out yet. If you find the smooth tool here, super useful. It cleans everything out. All you need to do is select your text and you can click the text, you can left click it, or you can left click and drag. Left clicking the text just automatically smooths out the text. Uh, I don't think that's that good, especially when you want some like precision and control. I usually just left click and drag to smooth out the individual lines. And this tool is really useful because it means that your line work doesn't have to be that good. It doesn't have to be that smooth or professional because at the end you can just use the smooth tool to clean it all up. Now I'm just going to rearrange it a little bit and select a color like dark green or something. Then I'm going to go to effect stylize and for the drop shadow option these are my uh, drop shadow settings just turn the blur down and the opacity up and there you have it you have this kind of comic book look 
this is just the bubble text that I usually do, but there's endless possibilities because once you can draw something and convert that into a digital thing where it's all smooth and clean and a vector, then the possibilities are endless with what you can do for logos, word marks, typography, you know? So I, I hope you enjoy. Check out my Instagram page if you want any inspiration. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you feel like you learned something today, please subscribe. If you don't think you learned anything, then uh, feel free to leave a hate comment. You know, give me a piece of your mind. Say some hurtful things. I'd, I'd love to, <laughs> I'd love to read those. Thank you and goodbye.